Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Blackbird OS version 3 for our Galaxy J7 2016. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, we already saw the One UI port by Mohit and now we have another One UI port based on Android 9 Pie, of course, because it's One UI. So, as you can see, this is the One UI one, version 1.1, Android version 9. And you can see kernel, it has the Helios Pi kernel, which is the like considered one of the best for our Galaxy J7, like J7 series. And now we have a build number, as you can see, Blackbird A50. So it is a A50 port. And yeah, it's by this guy, Kasim SYR. And the setting status is permissive. And the Android security patch is March 1. Starting with the home screen, as you can see, we get this Samsung launcher, the typical one with the one UI one. It is a bit modified as you can see the icons are also the search bar looks really good and yeah native blur is not present I don't know why like yeah but yeah still it looks really good I guess there was some uh, slitters with the native blur but yeah it works well then we have some awesome S10 wallpapers so yeah they, like these are the new wallpapers as you can see and these are the fixed these does not move so it is really awesome on my set when it moves it leaves that blank black background so i didn't like it but yeah this fixed one looks good also we have this multi-pack of 10 wallpapers for lock screen only so you can set it as you can see it includes all of these 10 wallpapers so it will randomly appear also while installing the rom like i'm going to show you the process there is this uh, aroma installation there where you can like actually uh, like choose apps and all the sound mods and all stuff also, we have this Spectrum Blackbird, but it says kernel not supported, so this is actually weird, I don't know. I have already granted root access, but still it's not working. Then we have good lock and a lot of good lock mods in here. Also, we have YouTube Vanced. Now, this is like normal YouTube only, just some uh, extra stuff like ad free and all that. So, yeah, just easy for some people to surf YouTube. Also, guys, we do get digital well-being, which is from Google. Now also we have this dark mode into the digital developing so it looks really great and as you can see uh, 10 unlocks, 4 notifications went down. This is why it, like grayscale so you can like just turn it on now. And as you can see your device has been turned into grayscale mode and it works really well guys. Now let's take a look at the camera app. Now this is also from the S10 like the newer camera app by Samsung. If you touch this you will go 2x. So it's a like easy button to 2x, you can like easily uh, switch to 4x also, like these are the normal navigation. Then we have video, hyperlapse, like TouchWiz is actually improving like from TouchWiz to Samsung Experience now to One UI, it has actually improved. But yeah, still there is like some slight and lag. Also as you can see, this is the, it's me and yeah, yeah the camera works fully so there is like actually showing clicking pictures and all but yeah it fully works so guys in my opinion it's a really great awesome rom with awesome mods and also as you can see uh volt is also working fine i have a geo sim card in so yeah like you can make geo calls not like osp uh, roms so yep that's it set uh, for this blackbird os version 3 and i will like tell you guys go check this out and it's a really awesome rom like everything is working here like in touch with rom there are no such issues now we are going to move towards the installation because the review has been done so yeah let's move towards the installation you have to power off your device first then press the volume up the power and the home button yes actually home i was going to say bixby like because of the s8 so galaxy 2016 team in recovery so yeah and we still have the 3.2.1 recovery i don't know but maybe yeah, someone will compel 3.3 recovery never mind uh, just wipe this four stuff like four partitions after wiping your older rom go to install and blackbird os choose blackbird os now it will start aroma installer so you have to proceed through it and this animation is really really like weird like I don't know why it is like a waste of time so now it will load yeah total waste of time time so please if you are watching your know, developer please remove this shit just the normal aroma installer logo is good 
okay so that was that much time wasting so I'll just choose black and choose whatever appropriate you want if you want add way you can choose I just want good lock then we have the bloatware options then we can choose what you want so yeah whatever you want you can choose I'm just choosing whatever I want so yeah Google app then I just want the one UI you can also choose iOS emojis and Google P emojis but I like the one UI one because it's Samsung so 1700 plus font mod no navigation bar because it like we have this hardware case so we don't need and yeah that's it I uh, actually said sound mod but sorry it does not have sound mod there is a flashable zip I guess on the XTA thread if possible uh, you can like just surf the thread if it is there or maybe I will provide if it's there maybe I accidentally uh, told about that uh, like sound mod because it was maybe in the set also so yeah Mm. okay let's skip this because it is going to take some time so the installation has been uh, successfully finished let's click finish and let's reboot uh, yeah it's rebooting now so we get this says a normal logo there is no like extra uh, boot logos or something like that and normal Samsung boot animation so we'll just wait for the boot animation yeah it will like boot loop once just don't worry uh, let's wait for the boot animation it is taking actually a lot of time as it is this is an old device so yeah I'm just comparing this with S8 so it's not actually great and yes here is the boot animation and yep now the device will boot in like one minute or so and then you can set up now while setuping just listen this you have to skip the setup go to developer options choose smallest width and choose the, like just write down 411 and press ok or the dpi will be like really bad so yeah you have to do, do this then you can add your google account and other samsung account as well so yep that's it uh, for this video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe button is here and videos with our new camera like yeah i bought a new camera if you don't actually know press this here the i button and you will get to know about my new camera and yeah bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye